welcome back to this channel it's mixed from the expression remember if it's your first time to come across this channel please consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel right what are we talking about we are still to discussing about uh, uh, talking about the questions that are being dropped in the comment section about uh, uh, the articles about the laws that governs and what you need to know as an employer in Qatar as an employee in Qatar and what are your rights and what are the rights of the employee at the same time because definitely uh, concurrently both of them you need to have a hint of what happens in case any scenario or any situation comes in between the bond of two two people then uh, between your employer then the employee definitely you know where to do and what to do at a time and we are looking at article 14 of the labor law what does it say for someone staying outside Qatar and you have what you call uh, a residence permit there are those people that may have the residence permit but unfortunately you get a problem you have to return back home you have to return back home remember you have that residence permit but what does the law strictly say staying outside Qatar if you have a residence permit and if you're residence in Qatar in this scenario we are looking at a situation where you've not resigned let's say for example you went to vacation when you went to vacation and the things that do not go wrong do not go right maybe there's family issues maybe there's uh, court issues that you need to finish up and this some of these things that may come emergencies may come that you need to stay out of that country you need to stay out of Qatar for more than six months what will happen what are you supposed to do and what are the requirements for you to return that is definitely what we need to understand and remember remember for any resident who has a valid residence visa staying outside Qatar for more than six months he needs what you call a return permit this is what you need to understand exactly yes you have a residence permit it's valid for a full year or for eight months or even 10 months for that case that it may be but in this case you have emergencies back home and you go home you are not able to return that means for you not returning within the six months framework that is being given by the ministry or by the government of Qatar then definitely meaning that the, for you to return after those six months you need what you call a license permit you need what you call uh, an exception permit and an exception permit or what you call a return permit is what is going to explain or what is going to be given to the ministry by either your sponsor that you can return to the country because of all what you call emergencies you had at once however short of that you may not be allowed to to you may not allow be allowed at the immigration to return back to the country that means you've exceeded the uh, allowable allowable period as an employee to be in the country so normally most of the time in case you are caught up in this kind of situation the best solution that you have is to inform your human resource manager that is why normally it's always very important for you to have those mobile mobile numbers of the human resource managers or for those people in those companies that are concerned with such kind of relations such kind of issues you inform them you inform of them of your happening and you definitely you inform them on your return date such that at the end of all they can try to prepare that document send it to the copy send a copy to the ministry so that you are not inconvenienced in one way or the other when it comes to the time that you have to do when you have to enter the country through what you call the immigration i think that is very important for people who are planning to stay out of the country uh, for more than six months the only allowed period it should be only six months but after six months short of that then definitely more than that then definitely you need what we call an exception permit to return to the country especially if your work or if you are under someone's sponsorship like for example you work business sponsorship then definitely you definitely need an exception permit to return back to country thank you so much for coming back to the channel this makes from the next question giving you all these updates and talking about all such kind of issue that we definitely need to know at the end of it all thank you so much see you again in the next video